Today, I've got something called Black Pods, but it's not the first version of Black Pods. There's a couple of videos on YouTube of things that are called Black Pods, which are knockoff black versions. I got this little note here, and the website is blacknoir.com, but the A is flipped to a V. It's very hard to keep it all together. It's interesting to me nonetheless, obviously because the AirPods are wildly successful. My very own black AirPods, which are actual AirPods, these are custom painted from colorware, so they're very expensive and AirPods themselves are already very expensive. These are around 59 bucks USD. So it's a substantial discount. We designed these headphones. We wanted to make something super similar to AirPods. Yeah, we get it. This version here apparently has wireless charging. They say it's a bold claim. They're gonna try to live up to it. So it's blacknoir.com. Flip the A into a V if you can keep that together. Of course, all that matters is do they work? Are they a valid substitute? How good do they need to be? Crack this open and find out for ourselves. Pull tab over here. It's not Apple caliber, but it'll do. The case is a matte black finish. It's very similar to AirPods. You have the button on the back over here. The click is not quite as nice. Hinge up top, boom, your black pods. They look a lot like Apple AirPods. LED light on the front as well, as you saw, green right there. There is a USB cable connector that looks a lot like lightning, but something tells me it's some sort of micro USB variant. You get a little quality control pass from the factory in China. So there you have that as well. They connect to the phone just like the real AirPods. If I crack this open like this and look at that, connect, hold the button. As far as the phone's concerned, these are AirPods and they're named BlackPods. That's a uh, uh, that's a very unusual experience as far as Bluetooth headphones are concerned. So in this case, you start to wonder how did they make that happen? What kind of factory did they get that chip from? Because that pairing experience is seamless and great. One of the major advantages to getting Apple headphones to go with your Apple device. It looks almost identical. I'll get the official ones out to do a size comparison here. Official one is in glossy black. Black pod obviously isn't. What happens if I take the black pods and try to fit them into the official charge case? Oh, they it works. This is like a legit one-to-one -one copy by the looks of it. Let me throw these in real quick, but I'm still curious. Do they sound like garbage or they have decent? Let's find out. Lil Nas X Panini. Oh my goodness gracious. These sound sort of like AirPods. I, I mean, I gotta be honest, like I kind of expected them to sound worse than they do. What about longevity? What about durability? What about battery life? How does it hold up? I mean, for 59 bucks with the case and all, and all that and the pairing, ooh, ooh, they're still 100%. Look at that. I'm gonna switch over here. This works. Yep. All right, official AirPod time. And the fit is essentially the same. These sound better. They sound better. It's significant. It's mostly in the bass. When you throw these on right after, you're like, yeah, okay, these definitely have more bass. That song, by the way, has a lot going on sonically. Okay, one more time. I'll switch back to the black pods. Not as loud, but I know. Look, they, they work. They're not gonna blow your head off. You're not gonna be like, uh zoning out first of all you're not looking at it like i have 200 dollars to spend on headphones you're, you're trying to say to yourself i need i need something in this particular budget i think this product the airpods that is are so successful not because of the way they sound even though like i said they sound better than this knockoff version they don't sound terrible as far as headphones are concerned but i think it's more the package deal convenient for people and there's less friction to carry it with you. So all of a sudden you're using headphones in places that you maybe previously wouldn't have. It's just the whole thing together that I think is so compelling for individuals. Prior to this product coming out, there was a rumor that Apple might make black AirPods officially from the company, no color wear necessary. It's unfortunate Apple didn't do that 
kind of puts you in a weird spot if you really want to have black AirPods. You go with some knockoff version for a fraction of the cost, which has a fraction of the sound, or you go with some stupid expensive setup like this where you're getting this custom paint job, which seems a little extreme. This product, is a, I don't have enough exposure to it or the brand to know whether or not it's worth recommending long term. I can say it works, it functions, it connects in a seamless fashion. It's lacking in volume and bass. All of a sudden now you're like, I really want this convenient package experience pairing and so forth and i just don't want to spend the 200 bucks so now i understand why there's a demand for something like this now i believe this one also has wireless charging on it and it does even if it is a knockoff it's a pretty good knockoff <laughs> somebody went back to the drawing board to put something together in this form factor that could be more affordable and even if it's a knockoff it's kind of surprising that they were able to do so this company who knows but for now I think this is actually a pretty interesting package for the price. Just don't expect it to sound exactly like AirPods for 59 bucks.